Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Century Snack of the Week. Today, we're going to be talking about Session Replay, a tool that helps developers triage and troubleshoot issues faster. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I lead the DevRel team here at Century, and today we're going to be talking about Session Replay. Before we jump into this video, I wanted to mention that while Session Replay is becoming a more common tool for developers, the details that I'll describe in this video about how Session Replay works will be centered around Sentry's Session Replay product, which you can find out more about in the link in the description box below. When it comes to debugging, there are some errors and performance issues that are harder to find the root cause than others. Typically, developers will rely on stack traces, breadcrumbs, or even customer tickets with like reproduction steps in them to debug these errors and performance issues. But often, there is still lacking information about what triggered the issue and how it has impacted users. Session Replay bridges the gap between code and user experience, allowing developers to rewind and actually replay a user's session to visually see how an error or performance related issue surfaced in the UX. This is done by recording the underlying DOM and recreating a user session with user interactions shown in the video playback. In addition to the playback, Session Replay includes context like console logs, network calls, and the DOM tree to help developers debug even faster. What's unique about Sentry's Session Replay is that we provide the option for you to sample on errors. This means that instead of capturing a random sample of user sessions, we are only capturing the user sessions that exhibit an error. That way you're only recording the data that matters for the debugging process. Session Replay products still have a challenging problem though. They have to strike the right balance between recording enough valuable data for debugging and not capturing user sensitive information in the recorded HTML. Strip too much and it's hard to decipher what exactly triggered that really tricky bug. But strip too little and you might be sending sensitive data outside of the user's browser. Now, when it comes to data, Sentry, as always, takes a privacy-first approach. This means that no user-sensitive data leaves the user's browser. Out of the box, we mask all HTML text, images, and user input. And instead, we ask developers to opt in any specific HTML content that is known to be safe that they want during the playback. This might be something like navigation links or header links or things like that. So basically, Session Replay is the debugging tool that you want when you're trying to understand what might have triggered that really tricky bug um, and how it impacted the user and actually see what happened. If you want to learn more about our Session Replay product, you should check out our blog or the Session Replay page, which are both linked down in the description box below. You can also visit us on Discord, Twitter, or GitHub and connect with us there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.